Hello, welcome. We've got more patch notes and Night Elf is getting nerfed. Rightly so. Well done, Blizzard. You're learning. So Kaivak says today we've deployed our final update. Final update for the Warcraft 3? What, they've given up now, have they? We've changed it based on your feedback and testing data. I thought they said they were going to the end of November. I'm pretty sure it's uh, not the end of November yet, but there you go. I guess my patch notes will have to wait for another day. Please note that we will continue to make adjustments and improvements before we release the patch at the end of the month. This remains a work in progress and is subject to change. Thank you very much for your testing and feedback. I'm going to go speed run on this, so don't you worry about it. The updated changes in this build. Moonwell mana regeneration reduced from 1.5 to 1.35. I agree with Grubby. He thinks it should be nerfed. We all hate Night Elf. So everyone profits on this one. Mana burn rate. Oh, for those of you that don't know what that means, it basically means that during nights, moon wells, they gather moon juice, which fills up, and the heroes and the units can soak it up to heal or replenish mana. So this makes it so they don't heal quite so quickly. Well, they, they don't regenerate their resource so quickly so that other units can gather it up and gobble it up. It takes a bit longer to fill it up. Mana burn range reverted from 250 to 300. Remo is really angry about this one. I, I, doubt, he, I doubt he's really that angry, but he wanted the change. And to be honest, I hate mana burn. I think it's a very unfun ability. I think this is interesting to make him really dive in, but I can see why people would be a bit upset because it means that he's going to get himself killed a lot of the time diving in that deep. I just think change the whole spell somehow. I'm sure I can get Nick to work on that, so don't you worry about it. Nick will whip up a new mana burn in no time. Abomination collision size reverted from 40 to 48. It means the chunker is going to remain a chunker and he's not going to be quite so slim line. It is a healthy way to be. Body positive. Remain how you are, Mr. Abomination. Don't let anyone else tell you how you're supposed to be. The Rubian Tower cooldown reduced from 1.5 to 1.3. I think this means that it attacks just a little bit quicker, if that's the way I'm interpreting this. I mean, honestly, the Rubian Tower could be nerfed into oblivion, and I still probably think it wouldn't be enough. So this is actually kind of a rebuff a little bit for the Nerubian Tower, but it's still being effectively nerfed mostly from where it started, I believe. Re-added audio pass in the campaign for 1.33. Wow! I don't know what that means. Fixed an issue where assets would unload un unintentionally. Um, well, I, that's great, I guess. Updated the camera zoom functionality to support more granular zoom values. That basically probably means that when you're zooming in and out, it's a bit more smooth. So there's more variations. Instead of like jumping from 1600 to 1950, it might be 1600 to 1700 to 1800 to 1949 to 1950. You never know. And that's basically it as far as I can tell. If there's any changes in this bit, I don't think this counts. I think this is just pretty much what they've changed. Um, going over there, fix the crash. There's a whole bunch of issues that we currently have with the patch. Yeah, all this stuff we know basically. The one bit that I didn't cover properly was how the... Uh, mercenaries, neutral camps got their uh, movement speed reduced, which I don't think is that necessary. They are strong for what they are, but making things slower is never that much more fun. So I don't really like that. Um, uh, look at it. And they were going to make um, tournaments a bit more adjusted to different time zones, which is good because every time I check, if I go into the afternoon and Warcraft 3 to go play it, it's always like, oh, are you ready to start the tournament? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that at 2.30 in the morning. Is that all right? Yeah? That's basically every single time the tournament's available. So, yeah, there is that going on. Um, the guy the guy called Storm Knight over here, he's like, he's well into sort of like doing the map editing stuff for Warcraft 3. And he's like, yo, this is like, this is not great. Because basically Blizzard decided to revert, hang on a second, the changes I think that were made in 1.33 for the campaign where a lot of the difficulty was adjusted correctly and certain things were put in to make it operate better but they thought that that was causing the crashes but the crash is really being kind of caused anyway because things weren't done properly in the first place i guess the whole reforge is just jank so this isn't really going to fix the situation this is just them thinking it's going to fix the situation but it's probably still going to be working like rubbish but he said a couple of Warcraft 3 news bits he uncovered a day or so ago. Blizzard is rolling back the campaign pass updates that the classic dev team did in order to fix crashes, but that pass pretty much indicated or included many triggers and balance passes to make the campaign accessible and have a healthy difference between RSC and TFT. Thing is, the pass has nothing to do with the crashes. They just don't know how to fix it. And a second thing, this is directed more specifically towards me. 
because I commented on his video about the tech tree requirement bug fix. I tested it very soon after it aired and it's only half fixed. The thing is, I believe they actually use my test map as a reference point to fix this bug, even though I highlighted that this is just one example of the many variants that's possible with the technology. They still didn't bother to start test, stress test it from different angles. They just fixed that specific example case and moved on. I kind of think of that as like just in the actual bare minimum, just to make sure that the house just about stays upright. You know what I mean? Has anyone ever seen that episode in The Simpsons? Very old one where Ned Flanders' home gets destroyed by a tornado, I believe. And then the whole community gets together to rebuild him a house. And like there's a wall load uh, bearing um, poster that one of the uh, Flanders kids doesn't like and tears down and the whole house just falls apart because this one poster has been taken off the wall. It's like just just the minimum done just to keep the ship just about working. Um, it kind of thinks, makes me think of that. So if you're wondering what's exactly broken with custom tech tree requirements, if 3.16 PTR airs as it is now, map makers making tech trees that require level 3 upgrades, have their upgrades get broken at the third level. So yeah, it's not working for custom upgrades custom tech tree requirements as far as i understand it um the third level isn't corresponding correctly you get access to it at the second level and they haven't really fixed that so that's a bit of a pest for anyone making creating their own races and stuff like that like there's a naga race and all that that's been coming out recently so yeah stuff going on and basically blizzard is just like yo this is the final update we've had enough we can't be bothered anymore for this patch so you know it is what it is until the next one Thanks for popping in, and uh, yeah, we'll try to fix some of the mess on the next one. That might be five months, six months down the line, who knows? So I don't know if it is Microsoft anymore. I thought Microsoft was supposed to fix it, but maybe it is Blizzard. Blizzard's back? Is Bobby back? Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Take care. I'll see you later. All right. Thanks for popping in.